Hello, my friend. Love, 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 love. I love you, and I am praying to the gods that the premiere functionality works today on YouTube because yesterday it was malfunctioning so much, and I was like, Ugh. I was unable to upload my very long vlog of our recent vacation to Palm Springs, Salvation Mountain, Joshua Tree, and more. I had to delete that video, re-upload the whole thing, but if you missed it, if you didn't catch it yesterday, please check that out on my The Perez Hilton channel. It's really good. <sighs> okay. Today, I am talking about some YouTubers later on, Jaclyn Hill and David Dobrik, but first, I'm talking about a bunch of musicians, which is one of my favorite topics to discuss. I am passionate about music. I love artists. I am very knowledgeable in music, and I have so many opinions and thoughts. I must start today with big news that still has a big question mark around it. Earlier this year, it was announced that Chris Brown was going on tour this summer in what seemed like a joint headlining tour with Nicki Minaj. Well, Nicki Minaj has pulled out of that Chris Brown tour and no official reason has been given yet. However, the Barb's are speculating that she may be pregnant. She did show up at the Met Gala in May, just a month ago, and didn't look pregnant then. It's a possibility that she's pregnant now, but I would imagine she's probably not that far along. Maybe five months, six months? You know, the tour was supposed to kick off not that long from now. She could have still put on a show and been pregnant, but I don't even know if that's true and if it is true let me remind you all that Nikki's boyfriend is a registered blank offender he's served jail time twice I'll read you the exact charges so that I am accurate according to the offenders registry in April of 1995 he was convicted of attempted first degree RAPE and served time then he served more time after uh, four years in jail. He was back there in 2006 when he served time for first degree manslaughter. This time serving tw uh, nine, eight years, no, six, seven years in jail. So he served over 11 years total. What a great guy to be the father of your children. Not that violent criminals don't deserve love and rehabilitation, but it's not been a good year for Nicki Minaj. And I'm not saying that being pregnant is a bad thing. <sighs> oh, Nicki. I almost feel like she doubled down on this guy and rebelled because it was a way to say F you to the world and, and a way to, to almost sabotage herself even more because she saw how her career was going backwards or down and she just doesn't care. Good for her if this is what makes her happy. I would have rather gone for an anonymous sperm donor than that dude though. He also doesn't have a job. I'm not even talking about his past. He brings nothing to the table now, except for the history they have. They've known each other since she was really young, before she was famous, and I think that's what drew her back to this guy. Kenneth Petty is his name. In more music-related news, Britney Spears has pulled a Chris Crocker. <laughs> if any of you follow Chris Crocker on Instagram, I do, he is notorious for posting content and then deleting it. Brittany posted a video saying, do I look any different today than yesterday? She's still obsessed with how she looks and how people are perceiving her. In fact, it's now being reported by Entertainment Tonight, which I think 
is a very reputable outlet. E.T. says her fans know that she is concerned about what everyone thinks. Her fans can see that she is concerned about what everyone thinks at all times and it's stressful for her. Brittany has always been concerned about her body because her physique is so much a part of her career. She feels the need to look great at all times. In fact, just yesterday, a video that was uploaded and as of now still up was her showing off these new extensions that she got. I, I don't know if this is all good news. I think Britney should be focused on deeper things and not paparazzi photos. Focus on her health, yes, but I'm just concerned for Britney. I should send her one of these so she could cuddle. It also talks. I love Sydney And walks. All right, in more music related news, let us move on to my favorite artist of all time, Madonna. According to multiple reports from Rolling Stone to the New York Post to um, what else? To the Daily Mail, they ran an article about how tickets for Madonna's upcoming tour are not selling well. And this is a tour that's playing small venues, like 2,000 seats. You would expect that Madonna could sell out 2,000 seat venues, but many shows still have many, like hundreds of tickets available. I think there's a few factors at play. Madonna's been touring consistently for a long time now. Ticket prices are really high for this tour. And she herself said not that long ago that this tour is gonna to be made up of 70% new music. That means almost the entire show, seven out of 10 songs are gonna be from her new album. I love Madonna, but that's not what I want. I don't. I don't need her to be a greatest hits act, but you know, 60-40, 50-50 even, you know? You gotta give the people what they want and she build it as such. I mean, yes, you're gonna get to see her up close and personal, but frankly, what I really want from Madonna is a Vegas residency. I want that and she probably will never do it. I think it would be so good for her career though. It could turn everything around. It pains me to say this, but I feel like Madonna has done a lot of damage to her legacy over the last five to eight years. She's not viewed by the general public in a favorable way for the most part. Young people probably don't know her. Other people think she's trying too hard or this or that or the other. <sighs> What are you gonna do? I'll still always love her. She will still always be my number one. It's Madonna. In more music related news, oh no. Oh no, my favorite flip flops just broke while I was making this. They're Crocs. Crocs, if you're seeing this, I would love another pair. <laughs> guys uh, it's been one of those months one of those months you know I feel like I need to change things up right now I need to I need to make myself feel better yeah that'll work a little bit or not Maybe this? Or not. 
that one, that's that's good that's good there we go okay finally we got it ah, okay all right <laughs> i do feel better okay on to 50 cent something awful and tragic happened recently in the dominican republic this N mlb alum david ortiz he used to play for the boston red sox he got attacked violently, viciously, gun violence, attacked with a weapon, allegedly because David Ortiz was having an affair with a drug dealer's girl. 50 Cent found out about this and then was mocking David Ortiz, this man who nearly died. And I get it though. Let me tell you something, 50 Cent is no ditty. 50 Cent has taken his trolling and social media attention grabbing to a whole other level this year because he needs to, because the money is not in his bank account. You don't see Snoop behaving that way. You don't see Jay-Z, Jay-Z doesn't even have an Instagram. But 50 needs to be talked about. He needs to make money. And he thinks this is the way that he's going to get attention. Because nobody's talking about his music. They're talking about him as this social media influencer who's creating drama. And I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. This instance just left a bad taste in my mouth. That dude nearly died. Like him mocking Trey Song's that's all silly and fun and games. He just repeatedly this year doesn't know when to stop and doesn't know when he crosses the line. Those are important things for a provocateur like myself. I'm a provocateur. I'm in a better mood. Maybe I'll, I'll keep doing it like this. Oh my God, I'm out of control today. All right, in lighter, brighter, better music-related news, Katy Perry posted a photo letting us all know that she and Taylor Swift have patched things up. I think this is what happened, even though Katy didn't spe spe specifically say this. Taylor Swift baked Katy Perry some cookies and sent it to her and it said peace at last or there's a possibility that Katy was the one that baked the cookies and then just put that photo up but under the location it said let's be friends and Katy did tag Taylor Swift now all we need is that collaboration with Kanye West between Taylor and Kanye or her to go to the Kardashian Christmas and all will be good Speaking of Katy Perry, her recent frequent collaborator, Zed, has finally responded to all of Matthew Coma's alarming allegations that Zed was just an awful human being, taking credit for things he didn't do, so on and so forth. Zed, I'll have the link down below so that you could read, see, or hear more. Zed said, that's not true, blah, 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 blah. Nothing will ever change with how proud I am of the songs. He goes on to say that he repeatedly gave Matthew Coma, Hillary Duff's fiance, credit, and that he hopes that he and Matthew Coma can get together one day as friends. Aww. I was thinking of Lady Gaga now, but <laughs> hey, that ball is in her court. I would get together and just hug it out. In more music related news, Rihanna opened up like never before in the new issue of Interview Magazine. I think it helped that her former co-star, Sarah Paulson, interviewed her for the article. And she talked about her new boyfriend that's not so new anymore. She and Hassan Minaj have been together for two years. Is that his name, Hassan Minaj? I think so, where's the name? Anyways, they've been together for two years, her boyfriend. I apologize if I got the name wrong. Uh, and she says she wants to have, mar she wants to get married and 
wants to be a mother more than anything. She also talks about new music and we are getting new music this year. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on now. It's like, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> but I do need some water. Stay hydrated. All right, from Rihanna to even more music related news, her collaborator in the past, DJ Khaled, they did that wild, wild thoughts together. DJ Khaled is still so upset that his new album did not debut at number one. He is planning to sue Billboard magazine. I'm embarrassed for him. Apparently, Billboard had previously agreed to this bundle deal that he had where if people bought his energy drink, they would get the album, which I don't know why they would have ever agreed to that. That sounds shady to me. I'm all for buy a ticket, get the album, buy a t-shirt, get the album, but buy the energy drink, that's not worth that much. Unless it was like buy 10 energy drinks, I don't exactly know what the deal was, but even if it's buy 10, there's just some, there's nothing related to the music about an energy drink. Good luck with that. If you win, what are you gonna win? Ooh, your album was number one. His ego is fragile. In more music related news, Miley Cyrus wants to let us all know it's all good between her and Liam Hemsworth, even though the media is reporting that they have split. They have not broken up. In fact, they are celebrating 10 years as a couple. Aww. She says, to Liam publicly, some things never change and I hope the way you feel about me is one of them. How romantic. Even more music related news, Lance Bass says that NSYNC will be sitting down all together this summer to discuss a potential reunion and all of the opportunities being sent their way following their performance at Coachella with Ariana Grande. I mean, if they can make money on it, great. But personally, I have no interest unless Justin Timberlake is involved. That's like Destiny's Child without Beyonce. But some of you have said that you would go see a reunited in sync without Justin. As I've said before, if they package it with new kids or somebody else, then okay. But I don't know if a Vegas residency with just in sync is the right move. We'll see. Mazel to them, whatever. <laughs> Finally, wrapping up our music segment today. So much music news. I just wanna keep evolving the look today. It's cause my brain is unwell. I like it, okay. <laughs> God bless Canada and Canadians. If you are watching this right now, I love you. I love Canada. I've said this so many times. I genuinely feel like an honorary Canadian and watching Drake sing the Canadian national anthem at full emotional output during the NBA finals, the most recent one that I saw, the clip of, I didn't watch the game. It made my heart happy. It, you have to see that video. If you did not see that video of Drake, click the link down below. It is hilarious. All right, I mentioned that I was gonna be talking about Jaclyn Hill. Yesterday, when I mentioned her, she had not taken to Twitter yet, but now Jaclyn Hill has updated all of us, saying, I plan on breaking silence and addressing, I plan on breaking my silence and addressing the issues regarding my lipsticks very soon. I just spit, you gotta acknowledge it. I have been working hard to gather all of the facts and details so I can give you accurate answers. I appreciate you allowing me to wrap my head around all of this and investigate. You yeah, know I'm gonna watch that video and you know I'm gonna let you know the real real and all of my thoughts and if I believe her or not. 
I'm starting to really second guess myself about everything Jaclyn Hill. All right, on to Wendy Williams. Aw, she's a roller coaster too. Understandable. She's had quite the 2019. While she's happily with a new guy, she's still very emotional about everything going on. The paparazzi asked her recently if she and her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, could ever make peace. And she told the videographer, please don't make me cry. And then when asked about her son, Kevin Jr., she said, they're not apart. I mean, stuff happens in life. Everybody's got to grow up. Amen, sister. And you know who else has got to grow up? Dream Kardashian's grandmother. I talked about Tokyo Tony, Black China's mom, yesterday. <laughs> this woman, after I made my video yesterday, she took to Instagram Live from an account that has now been deleted, probably by Instagram for violating the terms of service, <sighs> got fully naked, Tokyo Tony, Black China's mother, Dream Kardashian's grandmother, proceeded to fully nude, touch herself down there, and put on quite the X-rated show while working to Cardi B. If you're resourceful enough and brave enough, you can still find those videos and photos. I wonder if Black China is mortified or if she's proud or if she told mom to act up for attention. It's working. I'm now talking about this woman two days in a row. But seriously, Dream is and her other grandchild, King Cairo, they're going to see that. Pobrecitos. All right, and more news. Amanda Bynes, poor Amanda Bynes, literally... According to Creative Care Treatment Facility, a rehab center, Amanda did some treatments with them back in February and has not paid them. Maybe, let's not read too much into it. Maybe she's not going through any money problems. Maybe she just has a lapse between business managers or somebody that's helping her. Maybe it was just somebody else's fault and ho hopefully that's the case here and not that she's struggling financially because that's really painful to be struggling financially and have that on top of all of the things that she's been dealing with publicly let us all say a prayer and send the positive vibes to Amanda Bynes in other wacky news the stories continue to circulate about kylie jenner and jordan woods reconciling it's happened you guys it is on like donkey kong does anybody still say that expression <laughs> oh yeah yeah you can read more about kylie and jordan down below also down below i will have a link to another just wild story about Allison Mack, the Smallville alum that was recruiting women into this cult, an adult cult where awful things happened. And not only that, but the guy, Keith Rainier, according to these women, also starved them, kept them on a 500 calorie a day diet. What a year. Is anybody else going through it too? Group hug. We need it. Group hug. All right, on to even more wacky news. If you missed it and did not pay attention because maybe you don't enjoy his content or you're too old or whatever, 
but David Dobrik married Jason Nash's mother. And at first, when I read that, I just ignored it because I'm like, oh, it's just another David Dobrik stunt. But he really did it. And legal documents are now asking for an annulment. <sighs> I'm disappointed in David Dobrik. Maybe he's young and doesn't realize this, but LGBT people, gay men and women, same sex partners, had to fight so hard for the right to marry. It is something so important to so many people. And he pooped on us. I feel like he disrespected gay people by doing something so stupid. And just for views, be smarter. But that was real. Also real, this is not an exaggeration. Janelle Evans from Teen Mom and her husband, David Eason, in just this year alone. No, no. In the last 12 months, they have called 911 on average of twice a month. Either them making the calls or other people nearby calling the police on them because they were concerned for the welfare of their babies, their children. Even five of the 24 calls being from inside the house, meaning Janelle being concerned or just, I'm shocked that Child Protective Services did not intervene sooner in that whole mess. Ay, ay, ay. In other news, lighter news, Chrissy Teigen was asked straight up by a fan on Instagram if she is pregnant. And this was her response to that. I know you didn't mean it to be rude, but think twice about asking this. There are people who have trouble conceiving and it hurts every time. I'm not pregnant, but would be happy if I were. But I'm also happy not to be. Let me echo that. There are also people who, for a variety of reasons, choose not to have more kids or can't. Um, you know, they may be not able to afford it or whatever. And they're sad about that. I'm sad about it. I am very sad that I am being smart enough to acknowledge and know that I cannot have a fourth child, but that I am so blessed to have three healthy, happy children. So I never ask, I don't, I haven't even asked my sister what her baby plans are, if, or if she's pregnant, or if she's trying, or anything like that. And she's my sister. If she wants to reveal something to me, then she'll reveal that to me, but I'm not going to ask. Let us just end things today by all putting our hearts in open position and putting our brains together and sending positive vibes to somebody who's received a lot of ridicule in the past. And yes, it's flawed, not perfect. But then again, who is perfect? Tan Mom, who many of you know for many reasons, including being a Howard Stern Hall of Famer, is on life support. I did not know, but some people can get pneumonia. You can die from pneumonia. She has pneumonia and her pneumonia got so bad that she had to be put on life support. So let us all just wish the very best for Tan Mom, for me, for you, for this world. And I thank you from the bottom of my broken heart. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment, smash that like button. Give me a tip right now. Give me another tip. Give me another tip. Keep the tips coming. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Only if you really are feeling very generous. Share this video. Turn the notifications on. You know the drill. I love you. Mwah. God bless.